Empower Classrooms book review vlog series. I hope you're enjoying October as much as I do. I love this time of year. I love Halloween and all the stuff that I get to pull for the kids getting ready for the season. And today I'm going to share with you some math and science resources that have a bit of either a monster theme or a creepy theme or a pumpkin theme or Halloween. Uh, so this is a good way to cross the curricula and bring in some fun Halloween spirit with all of your subjects. All right, so here's a math book called How Many Seeds in a Pumpkin by Margaret Mac McNamara. It's a counting math book, and they are a young elementary school class, perhaps just kindergarten or first grade, doing some basic counting and grouping skills with pumpkin seeds. So you could read this book, and then you could also, you know, do that activity with your own pumpkin. I like that kind of stuff. This one is called Perimeter, Area, and Volume, A Monster Book of Dimensions by David Adler. And a little quick, simple geometry book with a monster theme. What is not to love, I ask you. All right, so there's that one. Also for the young kids, also, well, actually just getting a little bit older, because this is Mystery Math, a first book of algebra. But this, you know, you don't have to wait until you're in eighth grade to do algebra. You can do it a lot younger than this. This one's also by David Adler. He has a lot of cute math books. Um, but some creepy themes, you've got some addition and, and subtraction. This is very, you know, if it's algebra, it's very basic algebra. Um, got some, you know, the bats and the owls and all that good stuff. Be a, a really fun, a fun thing to add to your math day. Since we're in math, may I recommend The Number Devil, a mathematical adventure. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Enzenberger, Enzenberger, Hans Enzenberger. And this was a great novel for upper elementary. I, I think I used it with my sixth graders. So I would say fifth, fourth grade through eighth grade, somewhere in there. It, um, it's, it's a fun book. It's a funny book. He is haunted by the number devil, this, this child is. And um, the illustrations are fun, and it's teaching some basic mathematical concepts but within a narrative style. This one is recommended again and again and again and again by families with kids who are interested in math or kind of want to you know, push, to, uh, explore it a little bit more. A fun way to do that. So give them, give them the number devil. This one is called Two Times Two Equals Boo by Lauren Leedy. And this is going to be a little bit for the younger crowd, I guess, a set of spooky multiplication stories. So we are combining, again, narrative, art, and math together. And that is just all good stuff to me. All haunted, witchy themes. So give that a shot. Then we move to the science books. And I pulled several today that I think would be fun. This one's called Gross Science Projects by Jody Lynn. And Jody Lynn Wheeler Toppin. Sorry about that. And, um, you know, they're science experiments that are disgusting. Great for this time of year. Give that a shot. And then we have a series that I've talked about before in our science graphic novel episode, but I have to bring it up again because it's the monster science gra graphic novel series. You know, we have Frankenstein's monster and scientific methods, zombies and forces in motion, werewolves and states of matter, zombies and electricity, oh, getting too many, vampires and light. Ghosts and atoms, and there's more too. And these are really fun ways to explore different part, different areas of science. They're in graphic novel form. You've got the monster thing going on, and it's teaching some basic con some basic science concepts. Uh, fantastic thing! Again, throw it in your back seat of the car. Your kids will totally eat it up, or just leave it sitting out. If you have a classroom, bring them and just have you know have some free reading time, and the kids are going to go for these. Okay, and then we have two that I went to the health side because sometimes kids um, want to, I mean, okay, so you can explore the human body from a creepy standpoint if you want to, if the kids are kind of into that, or sometimes actually it can help a child be less afraid of skeletons if you explore the function of a skeleton. So this one's called Bones, and it's by Steve Jenkins. And this one kind of has a bit of a scary cover, so it just depends on what your kid wants. But even if this is too much for them, there's so many great skeleton books out there that are completely non-scary looking. Um, so that might be a good thing for you guys to do. You know, so again, study the, studying the skeleton when we're, when we're seeing skeletons all over the place in October, I think it's just a really fun thing to do this time of year, this month. Here's a frog one. You know, so it's not just human skeletons. It talks about their function and the way different skeletons work for different animals. 
rather different. And then finally, The Book of Blood, From Legends and Leeches to Vampires and Veins by H.P. Newquist. And, you know, clearly we're going for a bit of a creepy look. And on the back, here's Dracula himself <clears throat> and a lab technician. And so it's taking, it's looking at the legends and the science behind blood, our reactions to it, how it works, how we've um, kind of interacted with it in culture over the years, and why we think it's scary. So there you go. I hope those are fun for you and help kind of bring some Halloween magic to your math and science. And I will see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>